Hi, my name is Mr. D, and today I want to take a look at a multiple choice triangle classification problem. So we have in triangle ABC, the measure of angle A equals 4x minus 10. We have the measure of angle B equals 2x plus 30. And we have the measure of angle C equals x plus 20. And we need to find which type of triangle is triangle ABC. And we could choose from, we have a right triangle, a scalene triangle, an isosceles triangle, and an equilateral triangle for our answer choice. So to get through this problem, we want to use the theorem that tells us the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. This is going to allow us to set up an equation to answer this problem. So what we need to do is, first to get a visual of what's going on, we can create a diagram. That is, we can draw a triangle to use as a model. So we can label the first vertex of this triangle A, the second vertex B, and finally the third vertex we can label C. And now we know from the given information, we were told that the measure of angle A equals 4x minus 10. So we could write that in here. We have 4x minus 10 for the measure of angle A. And now the measure of angle B is 2x plus 30. So we could label this angle 2x plus 30. And finally, the measure of angle C is x plus 20. So now using this information, we're going to add the, in the interior angles of the triangle and set that equal to 180 degrees. So for the next line, we're adding, we have 4x minus 10 plus 2x plus 30 plus x plus 20. And we could set the sum of these three angles equal to 180. Now the reason why we're not going to write degrees is it gets a little messy when we're doing algebra and we have degree symbols everywhere, so at the end we're going to write in degrees for each of these angles. But for now we're going to leave it out. So what we can do at this step is combine like terms. We have 4x, 2x, and 1x. 4x plus 2x is 6x, 6x plus 1x is 7x. And now we combine the constants. Negative 10 plus 30 is a positive 20. 20 plus 20 is a positive 40. And now this is still equal to 180. So now to solve for x, what we need to do is we can subtract 40 from both sides of this equation. So we, we subtract 40 from both sides. 40 minus 40 cancels. And we have 7x equals 180 minus 40 is 140. So now to get x by itself, we divide both sides by 7. 7 divided by 7 cancels, leaving us with x equals 140 divided by 7 is 20. So now at this stage, this is a lot of work that we've had to do, but we're not done yet. Now what we need to do is we need to plug in x equals 20 for all three angles to see what type of triangle that we have. So we look at the measure of angle A equals 4x minus 10. So what we could do is we're going to replace x with 20 because we just found x equal to 20. So instead of 4 times x, now we have 4 times 20 minus 10. And 4 times 20 is 80, so we have 80 minus 10 for the measure of angle A. And now we have the measure of angle A equals 70 degrees. Now we'll put our symbol in. So right away that rules out answer choice 4. Because an equilateral triangle will have three angles equal to 60 degrees. All the angles will be the same. So right away we've gotten rid of one answer choice. And now for the measure of angle B, we know that B is equal to 2x plus 30. So we have 2 times and now x equals 20, that's what we just found, plus 30. So now the measure of angle B equals, well we have 2 times 20 is 40. We'll just do that all here. And 40 plus 30 is 70. So the measure of angle B is 70 degrees. So at this point here we could stop, because notice we have two congruent angles. So right away we know that we have 
an isosceles triangle because an isosceles triangle has two congruent sides and it has two congruent angles. So the fact that we have two congruent angles tells us right away that we have an isosceles triangle. But just to go the extra step, we look at the measure of angle C is equal to, and now C is x plus 20. And we found x to be 20, so we could replace x with 20. And now 20 plus 20 is 40, so the measure of angle C equals 40 degrees. So looking at this piece of information, we know that we don't have a scalene triangle because all three angles would have to be different. And we know that we don't have a right triangle because none of our angles here are 90 degrees. So once again, our answer to this problem, we have an isosceles triangle. Okay, well this is going to conclude this triangle classification video. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.